Hi guys, welcome back to Will the Beard Review. So now we're going to talk about John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum, starring Keanu Reeves, Halle Berry, Ian McShane, Lawrence Fishburne, Mark Dacassos, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, Asia Kate Dillon, Lance Riddick, Toby Siegel, Angelica Houston, a couple others in there. Um, now I got to see this movie uh, over this past weekend, and I finally getting a chance to sit down and talk with you guys about it. So what is the story of John Wick 3? So at the end of John Wick 2, he broke the rules of the Continental, broke the rules of the High Table, and now Mr. Wick is excommunicado, and he has a contract put on his life, so all of his assassin buddies in this criminal underworld that they've developed are coming after him, and he has to figure out a way to stay alive, deal with all of this, and that is basically our entire movie right it's to it's john wick movie it's not that complicated all you really need is an excuse for keanu reeves to shoot a bunch of people and that's exactly what this this movie does so speaking about the action this is a john wick movie it, it lives and dies on the action and this one was phenomenal i loved the action so much this is very much a go see it please go see it in the theater just to get the the full impact of every gunshot every punch every knife throw it is it's incredible you know just watching this play out knowing how hard these actors and stunt men train to do this especially keanu reeves and even halle berry which we'll talk about here in a minute just the the action and the direction and the fight choreography um the prop master making sure all the guns and everything are you know top-notch it's just amazing I think I actually liked the action in this one better than uh, John Wick 2 although it's been a minute since I've seen John Wick 2 and this probably actually parallels John Wick 1 um, pretty well it's probably on par with with John Wick 1 I know uh, John Wick 1 came out and just blew all of our minds because we had no idea what we we're getting into and we ended up getting John Wick but the action it just it's so good and and, you know, as someone who does enjoy going to the shooting range and, you know, firing guns and everything, I'm a native-born Texan. I love me some firearms. Seeing things handled properly, seeing someone reload constantly in a firefight is something that just makes me happy. Showing, you know, okay, I know that model of gun. I know it's standard magazine holds, you know, say 10 rounds. He shoots 10 times, boom, he reloads, not shooting 30 times never reloading, never even seeing him carry a mag or anything like that. Um, it's phenomenal to see the way they've put these movies together and paying extra close attention to things like that. I really, really enjoy it. Reloading is a kind of almost a plot point in this movie. It's pretty pivotal to the action in a couple scenes. So, um, action's great. Keanu Reeves. Dude, Keanu is is Keanu. He, You get the performance you expect from Keanu. This was almost the role... He was born to play. Um, he gives just the right amount of monotone when he needs monotone, and then he gives just the right amount of inflection and um, you know whatever he needs to in his voice to, to play off of this role. And it's it's amazing. And like I was talking about with the action, you can just see him put in the work and put in the time to to do this. And um, if you just go on YouTube, you're already on YouTube. Um, just put in uh, Keanu Reeves Taren Tactile T A R N tactical it'll probably come right up there are probably a dozen videos of him on a shooting range training training hard and being you know having great times and being upset with himself because it wasn't good enough just seeing the amount of dedication he puts into the stunt work of this is just incredible new character in this movie Halle Berry and I didn't know kind of how to what to think about Halle Berry uh, going into this movie but her role is great. I love the part that she plays. Um, and again, just like Keanu Reeves, Google up her at Terran Tactical. There's just a couple of videos of her doing training. She put in the work. I think she broke three ribs training to do the fight choreography this for this movie. That is hard core that is amazing i love again just the dedication these actors and stuntmen and everything put into this movie and um i really enjoyed her character um i would love to see her come back um they've already announced a john wick 4 so i'd love to see that character come back around see more of her maybe not necessarily a spinoff but hey you know what anything in the john wick world they want to give me i will take so um uh, I want to talk about some of the things I maybe quite didn't like about this one, um, and that is, I think, the world that they are building 
is maybe getting a little too big. One of the, the charms of John Wick 1 was we just were kind of bloop dropped into this world of assassins and the continental and the gold coins and the high table and all of this and we were just kind of like what the hell's going on what is this this is cool but none of it was ever explained and i think now that we're into the third movie and they're starting to peel back that curtain or pull back the curtain and pull back that uh peel back the onion a little bit and we can start to see more and more of this world i think it may be getting just like a hair too big maybe starting to show some stress cracks especially with some of the lore and mythology going on in the world and the 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 high table and you know people under and above the high table and things like that it's not too big yet but i think it could threaten to get too big um past another movie or two depending on what they do with it so i think that's something the creators need to watch out for I still really enjoyed it in this movie. I just don't want it to push itself too far. And it becomes... It's already close to unbelievable. But if you buy into the world, you buy into it. But I don't want it to push into a realm where it's too unbelievable. That even if you buy into it, you still have a hard time swallowing it. If that makes any sort of sense. Also, um, one other thing that's interesting about both John Wick 2 and John Wick 3... Three, um, there is a lessened emotional engagement uh, going into the movie just based on their stories. Um, so in this one, John Wick is basically just trying to stay alive, which is, you know, he's a survivor. He's doing what he needs to do to survive, which is an emotional ride. Right? Oh, he's going to get shot. Oh, we got stabbed. You know, everything like that. And to see where, you know, he comes out in the end. But in the first one, the audience had this incredible emotional engagement in the story and almost rooting for John to kill all of these people because they killed his puppy and they, they stole his car also, but they killed that cute puppy. And so the whole movie, you're like, yeah, John, kill him, kill them all. They all killed that puppy. And then the other ones, you're kind of like, yeah, John, kill him because you're the good guy or something. You're the guy we're rooting for. You're Keanu. Kill all those guys. But there's, and while you're still rooting for Keanu and rooting for John Wick, there's not that big, mm, that big emotional drive to almost cheer him on as he's doing it. And that's not to say that these movies aren't still enjoyable. It's just that it's kind of pulling back on that emotional punch to get you, the audience, engaged and on board with what John Wick is doing in these movies. So, a couple things that I'm a little iffy on, but overall, man, this was a great, great time at the movie. See it in as uh, with a bunch of people if you can. Um, watching the action and watching people's reactions to the action um, is just it just enhances the experience. Don't watch this one home alone if you can help it. Get a bunch of folks over if you don't catch it in theaters or go see it in like prime time in the theater. Great, great show for um, a packed theater house. So, guys, have you seen John Wick? Let me know what you thought on it in the comments down below. Do you agree with my cons? Do you agree with my pros? Everything like that. Let me know everything you think about this one in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here at the channel, we usually talk about comic books, but I saw this movie over the weekend and I really wanted to talk about it. So hit that subscribe button if you want to. And until next time, we'll see you at the comic shop.